Wizards heat here at Capital One Arena tonight. It'll be the first home game of the 2018 season for Washington. It also might be the first game in uniform for Dwight Howard. We don't know yet or not whether he'll play. It will be a game time decision for the man once known as Superman. As I mentioned, there's a little bit of a shakeup at the top, but let's start out talking about football. I want to be the best passer on the field. The top player on the ESPN 300 list of high school senior football players is Justin Fields. Those are his top five schools, but heck, everybody wants this young man. Let's talk to him. Dax, first of all, thank you for joining me, and you made a decision this week that a lot of the college football world was anticipating. The report obtained by ABC7 did not find the toxic football culture indicated earlier this spring in an ESPN.com article. However, it went on to say that players were afraid to speak up, which meant the problems arising in what they called a dysfunctional athletic department were likely to fester. It's hard to believe 17 years ago, Flight 77 crashed into the side of the Pentagon, claiming 184 innocent lives. Buckle up, sports fans. This is ABC7 Sports Sunday. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me tonight. Can we just say it was a good day in the DMV? First the Redskins, then DC United. Let's start with the Burgundy and Gold. They beat the Cowboys today. They are alone atop the black and blue NFC East division. On the first drive, Alex Smith drives the Skins into scoring position. Check out Capri Bibbs. Nice his way through the Cowboys defense. 23 yards for the touchdown. Redskins up 7-0. Good to see him getting money. But before the half, the Cowboys strike. Dak Prescott finds Michael Gallup on a stop and go, beating Greg Stroman. That's 49 yards. That would tie it at 7. It's okay, though. Got a lot of game to go. Fourth quarter, Dak Prescott deep in his own territory. Feels Kerrigan. Stripped Preston Smith right there for the scoop and score. Redskins up 20-10. to Looking good so far. And then this. Less than two minutes left. The Cowboys drive down inside the two. Prescott sneaks it in for the score. That makes it 2017. Redskins still with a three-point lead. Then the Skins go three and out, and the Cowboys get a field goal shot from 47 yards out, but there's a false start on the center. That pushes the boys back five yards, and that would be huge from 52. Look at this. Brett Meyer blows it, donks off the upright. It's no good. Redskins win 2017 and now sit atop the NFC East. Don't always want them to come down to that kind of a dramatic finish, but uh, it we'll, we'll take it. More on the Redskins win in minutes, but first some more football. DC United, they had a huge game today against New York City FC. They win, they're in the playoffs. How about that? So we start the game in the eighth minute. Luciano Acosta shredding the New York defense. Centers to Wayne Rooney. He puts it home. Lucky Luciano with the assist. Goal, United. It's 1-0. Later in the 24th minute, Paul Areola goes to Rooney. Rooney collects it. He can't make it happen, but look who's here. Acosta with a perfect strike. Goal, DC United. The black and red win. Three zip. They clinch a playoff spot. Congratulations to Ben Olsen and the boys. Long year last year to be in the postseason. Losing a loved one can be an emotional roller coaster. A Loudoun County 16 year old was in a dark place, but volleyball brought her into the light. Scott Abraham takes us to Ashburn for tonight's Rising Star. Drew Brees has a habit, and it's breaking NFL records. He did it again today against the Ravens. Let's go there. Ravens hosting the Saints, and fans around here are all too familiar with this. Drew Brees breaking those records. All right, some serious fireworks last night between the Rockets and the Lakers, and it all stemmed from this. James Harden going hard to the basket, and for some reason, Brandon Ingram felt the need to shove Harden, so of course he gets attacked from that. But here's where it really gets crazy. Chris Paul muffs Rashawn Rondo. Rondo gives CP3 the one piece. And don't forget about Brandon Ingram. This could have been a lot worse. He felt like he got spit in the face. Yeah. Didn't say anything. I didn't say nothing to my team after the game. Let's not forget that was LeBron James' debut in Los Angeles. Overshadowed tonight. Okay, that's it for this edition of ABC Sports Sunday. I'm Joe Ball. Make sure you stay safe this week and don't do this. An LSU assistant coach likes to headbutt his football players while they have their helmets on. Yes. It was a sight Smithville, Mississippi, police chief Darwin Hathcock will never forget.
It was just like a monster headed this way. It was a very, very large funnel cloud. At that same moment, Smithville Mayor Greg Kennedy dove under a desk at City Hall as the super tornado passed directly overhead. All you felt was just pressure, just pressure in your head, and all you, all you could hear was just a, just a roar. The tornado came in the middle of the afternoon right through the heart of downtown Smithville. When the storm had passed, there was debris everywhere like the remains of this house. The downtown area was destroyed and 15 people were dead. Longtime resident Danny Chisholm managed to shepherd his family into this homemade underground shelter which may have saved his life. When he climbed to the surface, it looked like a bomb had detonated. The whole neighborhood was gone. I knew it wasn't going to have no home when we come out. You couldn't even see the streets when he walked out. I didn't know where to go. You couldn't tell one place from another and everything looked the same. Chief Hathcock had a similar reaction as he surveyed the damage. I thought nobody could have survived it because the view I got when I stood up, I looked back in this direction and there was nothing there. Most of the homes were destroyed, cars crushed, and lives devastated. Nearby, every building in Smithville's downtown was destroyed from the hardware store to the gas station. This town of 900 people wiped off the map in minutes. But days later, a major cleanup has begun. The city has been designated a federal disaster area, and emergency officials are on the scene to help the recovery effort. It'll take months, if not years, and the emotional scars could take even longer to heal. Oh, I'm very lucky to be alive because the only thing left that's not crushed in City Hall is the boardroom table that we were under. Many residents like Danny Chisholm are hoping to rebuild. It may get it again, but we're going to try it. Despite losing two close relatives, he wants to stay. But it's likely his hometown will never be the same again. Joe Ball, CCTV, Smithville, Mississippi.